India is set to spend $2 billion to develop green hydrogen. The country wants to cut emissions and to become a major exporter in the field. Currently, India is one of the world's biggest greenhouse gas emitters, but is aiming to achieve net zero carbon emissions by 2070. By the end of this decade, India wants to produce 5 million tonnes of green hydrogen per year and become a major hub for the resource, supplying 10% of global demand. Green hydrogen is hydrogen that's developed using green methods. The government hopes its plan will attract private money to the cause. It's forecast that total investment could reach almost $100 billion by 2030. Well, let's discuss India's green hydrogen ambitions with our correspondent in Delhi, Charu Kartike. Charu, how big a role is green hydrogen actually expected to play in India's future energy plans? Well, uh, I remember very clearly, you know, in March last year, the federal transport minister drove up to the parliament in a hydrogen-powered car. You know, now those cars are not running on India's streets right now and quite far from it, actually. But uh, it signaled the government's intent of using hydrogen as a part of India's energy mix. And what has now been announced appears to be government putting its money where its mouth is. Uh, you know, it's a massive investment of about over $96 billion. This includes uh, public investment as well as what uh, the private investment will be attracted. That's a big amount. The objective is to uh, uh, develop at least a green hydrogen capacity of at least 5 million metric tons by 2030. That's a big uh, uh, move by the government. Uh, even the private sector is very energized by it. And uh, it, uh, it looks like a lot of subsidies are also going, going to come the private sector's way, Rob. There are a lot of big numbers in there, Charu. Uh, another big number is the 500 gigawatts of renewable energy capacity that India wants to install by 2030. Is this green hydrogen plan uh, going to help them towards that? Well, it's not entirely clear at this point of time, Rob, because it was not specifically announced, but it's most likely to be a part of that. Now, you know, uh, India is very conscious of the fact that its energy requirements are only going to grow. You know, it's three degrees Celsius in Delhi today, and the grid is already feeling the pressure. And as uh, more and more electrification takes place, India's energy requirements are only going to grow. And given the fact India is largely dependent on fossil fuels for generation of power, renewables are a very key, key component of India's future uh, uh, energy plans. Uh, hydro, hydrogen and green hydrogen specifically is where the government is really interested in. And now uh, with the subsidy that this new uh, announcement uh, will, will be a part of it, uh, it, it uh, the private sector is also energized. So apart from government-backed R&D, private sector is also likely to put all its efforts behind the production of green hydrogen and uh, India's goals of becoming uh, uh, an, an, a net exporter of green hydrogen also are uh, centered around these plans. So, so yeah, it's quite an ambitious plan. And now the government has really appears to have put uh, its money where its mouth is. Rob. Charu Kartike in New Delhi for us. Thank you very much.